The best advice I can give anyone in the real estate business is to stay resilient and stay focused going forward. As we learn through COVID-19, the world can be exceptionally unpredictable. And so in the face of all of that, people have a lot of challenges. It is exceptionally stressful. And the best teams will stay resilient. They'll stay strong, work together to actually work their way through the issues that come in front of us as a result of the pandemic. <clears throat> and the, uh, in addition, they need to stay focused on the major issues affecting their company. So obviously most importantly is the health and safety of their customers, the tenants, our staff, our, our, our uh, but also staying focused on things like liquidity and re uh, making sure that the teams can actually work well from home. So those issues are what actually got us through the first wave of the pandemic. I believe they'll also get us through the second wave of the pandemic. In addition, strategies are important. And we at Crombie are fortunate to have a long-term strategy that has not changed even with the pandemic. <clears throat> and so laying the foundation, laying the pieces to the puzzle in place over the next six to 12 months will see us through to a period of growth going forward as we come out of it, I think to the middle to the end of 2021. And so staying focused on those few things, I think is what will get us all through. COVID has impacted our lives uh, in a way that, that no other uh, downturn in our industry has. This is a, a time where our entire behavior has changed. We have all been touched by it, whether it's uh, through social distancing, losing people, uh, working from home. It, 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 there's nothing that it hasn't touched in our lives. And some of us have uh, focused on uh, better health, uh, physical activities. Others of us have been looking after family. It's been difficult, but at the same time, I think as Canadians, uh, we are resilient people and we've come up, we've uh, met the challenge. And I think that uh, in our world, in the real estate world, um, the real estate professionals, we are focused on resiliency and, and strength. Uh, that's what's going to get us through to the end of this. And it's also going to allow us to take some very big, bold steps. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how to work from home and also work in the office uh, and have some sort of balance, some sort of hybrid. Um, we're also going to be challenged. I mean, it's really, really hard not to have face-to-face -face meetings. Uh, those are the ones that allow you to make that gut decision. And it's super hard when you're looking at a screen to make that kind of judgment. And this is where the relationships that we've made become very, very important. The phone calls and the communication with our, our colleagues is not just about work. It's about how are your families doing? Uh, what has this been like for you? What happens next? And it's, it's emerging. There's friendships that are formed from this that we didn't have before. Um, I think that it's also a time where you pivot. You take that resiliency and you look at what knowledge we have as we move forward into innovation, into prop tech. How are we going to use data analytics? I think it's going to be something that's going to impact all of us all the time. Um, how are we going to uh, look at the supply chain, look at e-commerce, look at manufacturing? How are we going to translate that into our business? I think we have the time right now to get through that. There's sure there's going to be issues uh, as government programs stop uh, providing subsidies to tenants and how are they going to pay? And some of those tenants won't survive, unfortunately. But I think between landlords and government, we've all tried to make sure that those tenants can survive and make it to the other side. So I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be great. Uh, the, the advice that I would give to a, uh, any real estate professional, uh, myself included, uh, is this is absolutely a time to focus on clients. Uh, and when I say focus on clients, it's not about uh, your, your revenue stream or your next quarter or your next deal. It's really to listen to the client, listen to their concerns, and be there to, to support and bring them ideas. Uh, this is the time to form long-term trusted relationships that will pay off for a very long time. And it's only by thinking of your clients first and not yourselves that you'll really engender yourself in that relationship. And it, uh, I'm, I'm convinced that'll pay off long-term for both your career and the companies you work for. Well, first of all, I think the, the most important thing is you need to stay 
uh, strong and healthy in your mind and with your team. So form a crisis team, a safe place where you can uh, share all your ideas, all your uh your worries, uh, you can uh, spread the, all the, the, the information that you have. So the, the team becomes really essential so it can help the individual uh, being stronger. You have to meet regularly, exchange information, uh, plan, but be also flexible. So what we did is it was to have a pessimic, pessimistic, a, a realistic and optimistic plan. I think uh, that allowed us to... Uh, To, to have more flexibility as we would make decisions, we would always have a fallback if that didn't happen the way we thought. You have to take care of your employees. They're your greatest, great, greatest assets. So you really have to make sure uh, the, the, they're well, they're well mentally, they're well physically, and they're well also in that new uh, reality of telework, uh, which, is, uh, which is okay in the short term, but as you get longer, it can, uh, it can become really tough. Uh, I think the, the protection of the, the health of our employees and customers should be a number one priority of all time. So making decisions, this should be on the top of the list uh, in all the decisions that we take. take. Uh, communication, communicate, communicate, communicate is uh, a, a key uh, element in time of crisis. The more people are informed, the more uh, they feel reassured and the, the better the decision they can make. And the less the the anxiety, the anxiety can uh, can go up and spread among uh, among the the people and the team. Remember that you can only eat uh, an elephant one bite at a time. So there's no uh, no need to try to solve everything in one day. Uh, sometimes just solving one problem a day is uh, uh, it's enough to create a momentum to uh, to uh, move things around and get the team uh, working well together. And have confidence. We have to be optimistic, cautiously optimistic, but optimistic. I think it's imperative for organizations to learn as much from what we've experienced as possible and to make every effort to institutionalize that learning and to incorporate it into institutional memory as fully as possible. This is especially important for younger leaders within organizations today who haven't experienced the kind of adversity uh, the pandemic caused previously. Older members of the industry like myself went through the first half of the 1990s, went through the global financial crisis and had the benefit of working through those crises and learning what it's like uh, and what's necessary to operate in those situations. Younger leaders within the organizations today haven't had that good fortune until recently, and it's imperative that organizations take full advantage of the crisis and ensure that the knowledge derived from dealing in very, very adverse circumstances be incorporated into institutional memory. If that is done, then I think we will all emerge from this particular crisis stronger and better equipped to deal with the future. One of my friends said to me recently that we have a 100-year storm every 10 years now. That was a very interesting commentary on climate change and I think is accurate. I think the same might also become true of what I'll call economic disruption or economic crises of the sort we've been going through. And to the extent the industry is better prepared to cope with them and the current generation of leadership within the industry um, has experience in coping with them will make us all stronger and better going forward.